Due to technical difficulties, the first 15 minutes of audio were lost for the girls' lacrosse game. The following is a recording made after the recording of the game. Welcome to Foxborough High School for the girls' lacrosse game against the Oliver Ames Tigers. The Foxborough Warriors come in against their first loss of the season to Franklin, a very unfortunate loss. The girls were very upset after the game, and they're looking for some redemption here today. The next game is against Walpole on Monday at 11 a.m., um, but more importantly, today's game, they're focusing on uh, getting some redemption for that uh, loss to Franklin, uh, and at the same time building some confidence back up uh, as that was their first loss and third loss in the last two years alone. So very uncharacteristic of the Warriors, and again, um, they're trying to make up for it here today. And there's an early shot taken by number eight, Mary Beth Sweeney. Uh, Katie Notarangelo won the draw, and Foxborough looks to possess the ball here. Uh, they look like they're setting up a bit of a stack. Uh, Jenny Rogan with the ball, going off some picks. She tries to get it to Morgan Ames, but uh, the pass was a little wide. Morgan couldn't hang on to it. Uh, Morgan gives it back to Jenny behind the net. And Jenny holds. Foxborough sets up another play. Oliver Ames looks like they're defending it pretty well, uh, but that looks like Katie Notarangelo gets open and puts it in the back of the net. Nice job, Katie. A good feed from Jenny uh, from the back of the net to the front, and Katie buries it over the top of the goalie. And that puts Foxborough up to an early 1-0 lead. Katie Notarangelo will again take the draw for the Warriors, along with, looks like, number 12, Tori Cole for Oliver Ames. Excuse me, that's number 6. Uh, Annie Ambrosius for Oliver Ames. And, but Katie Notarangelo won it anyway, and now Foxborough takes possession. Jenny Rogan gets it behind the net again. She brings it up, and she goes right across and scores. Right across in front of the net. Uh, a nice hesitation move behind. Uh, and that is actually Jenny's 99th goal. She needs one more uh, to break 100, which is a great accomplishment um, for anyone who can achieve such a feat. So uh, hopefully she can... Get another one here today. She's been waiting for that moment for a long time. Uh, she's worked very hard, and hopefully that will come later today, but we'll see. Uh, Katie Nodrilangelo will take the draw again. Um, this time, Olive Rames almost comes up with it, uh, but loses possession, and that looks like Carrie Long scoops up the ground ball and runs it down into Foxborough's end. Uh, stoppage of play. Excuse me, that's number six, Jamie Lutz. Uh, Jamie will talk, take it from the top of Foxborough's zone. She gives it over to Morgan Ames, who runs through a couple of Oliver Ames defenders. And here comes Maddie Marini driving through. She gets triple team, pulls it back out. Gives it over to Mary Beth Sweeney, who hesitates, pulls it back out. Gives it back over to Jamie, or Maddie, excuse me. Maddie holds it at the top. Uh, Morgan Ames now gets it. She tries to drive past the defender, gets double teamed, pulls it out again. Uh, stoppage of play. Looks like it was an illegal hit. Foxborough really does a great job of possessing the ball um, on offense and valuing every single moment, every minute that they have it, um, trying to wear their opposing defenses out. And it's really worked for the Warriors, at least in the past few seasons. Um, the goalie for all of Reams. Uh, number, looks like 51, Sydney Corsini, um, makes the save and drops it in the crease, which is pretty rare occurrence, I think. Um, and Oliver Ames gets it up to half. Looks like number eight, um, Megan Boss. Um, she loses it, though. Foxborough gains possession. Morgan Ames trying to chase it down behind the net. And a great ground ball there by Morgan Ames, who drives it up 
from X around. She gets double team, pulls it out, gives it over to Mary Beth Sweeney, who drives through the middle. And a good defense there by Oliver Ames, but looks like a dangerous play made. So Mary Beth will have a free eight meter. Uh, we'll see if she can capitalize on the opportunity. And she does a great bounce shot into the top left corner of the net. So that puts Foxborough up three to nothing now. Once again, a great possession by the Warriors, not allowing Oliver Ames to have much possession to this point in the game. Um, yeah, I don't even think it's been in Foxborough's defensive area once. So the middies in attack for Foxborough doing a great job so far. See if they can continue that here with another draw win by Katie Notarangelo. Number seven for Oliver Rames, Carly Sedato um, takes it for Oliver Rames, but Katie wins it again. Um, and here comes Katie down the sideline. She gets it into Foxborough's zone. And Morgan Ames drives all the way down, bowls over a defender, and that's going to draw a whistle. And Oliver Ames will gain possession. Number one, Lena Downs will bring it up for Oliver Ames. She passes it over the head um, of one of her players, but the Oliver Ames girl, I can't really see the number, I apologize, drives it all the way down into the Foxborough zone, and Oliver Ames will have their first offensive possession of the day. Number 28, or 26, excuse me, Catherine Duffy, possesses behind the net, and she brings it up, and she'll score. Um, gets it past Melissa Lynch, uh, stick side, so that will shorten OA's deficit to 3-1. to one. So on the first possession uh, for Oliver Ames, they get a goal out of it. Um, if they can keep that... Uh, ratio up. I think they'll be pretty well off by the end of the game, but uh, Foxborough's had a Foxborough's done a great job of keeping the ball on their own offensive end, so I don't know how many chances they're going to get throughout the course of this game. Looks like there's a little bit of a tie-up back around Foxborough's net, uh, but the refs seem to have sorted it out, and here we'll have the draw again. Katie Notarangelo again takes it. Um, it looks like there was an illegal hit. So, Sedato will bring it up, but she gets hit again, uh, which causes a stoppage of play. And the ball will be turned over to Foxborough. Kirsten Warner will take it for the Warriors. She brings it up across. She Almost brought it over half, but stopped herself. Caden Odrangelo now gets the ball for the Warriors, and she'll drive it into Foxborough's zone. Nice pass there to Jamie Lutz, but she can't hold on to it. Uh, we'll put the ball on the ground. We'll see who comes up with it. Uh, stoppage of play. It looks like an Oliver Ames defender illegally checked Jamie, so Jamie will retain possession. Jamie gives it over to Maddie Marini, who passes it back to Katie Notarangelo. And it looks like Katie will bring it over to the wing. She gives it behind to Jenny Rogan. Jenny Rogan brings it behind, possesses. Maddie runs behind her. We'll see if they have some kind of play set up. Gives it over to Morgan Ames on the wing. Morgan slowly picking apart the Oliver Ames defense. Gives it over to Katie Notarangelo. Uh, who sends it back to Siobhan, no, or, excuse me, Jenny Rogan. Fox, we're doing a lot of wheeling up top. We'll see if they try to confuse the Oliver Ames defenders. Maddie Marini now has it at the top of the key. A lot of cutting action uh, being done by the Warriors, which is um, very successful if you can get that off-ball movement to lead to goals, and Fox was maybe been able to do that so far. And that's really what separates the good teams from the great teams is when off-ball movement becomes um, a very common part of your offense. So Jenny gives it back to Mary Beth Sweeney, who brings it up from X, 
can't find anything. She gives it back over to Maddie Marini. And again, the possession time is really what's going to kill the Tigers in this one. Uh, Foxborough's had the ball in their offensive end for about three minutes now. And that just really destroys um, an opposing defense's uh, any type of confidence they may have. They get tired, um, and that's how you pick apart a team, really. Morgan Ames now takes a run, but pulls it back out, not seeing anything. Jenny Rogan gets it behind, gives it back up to Mary Beth. And we'll see if Foxborough tries to go to the net at any time soon. Um, but Oliver Ames isn't putting any pressure on them to do so. So uh, if that doesn't happen, it looks like they'll just possess the ball the rest of the half if need be. A stoppage of play. Looks like someone needed to tie their shoe. Kaden Odorangelo will get it on the wing. Looks to have a free opportunity at the goal. Can't get anything out of it though, so she pulls it back out. Gives it over to Maddie Marini. Morgan Ames takes it, gives it over to Kaden Odorangelo. Couldn't quite get it there, but Katie fielded it off the bounce. Morgan Ames now possesses behind the net, gives it over to Jenny Rogan. Foxborough in no rush, for sure. Jenny pulls it out, possesses behind the net. Again, there's no one from Oliver Ames pressing her, so she could stand back there all day. There goes Jenny to the net. She gives it back to Mary Beth, who finds Jenny in the middle, who can't quite hang on to it. Almost had a shot there. And Oliver Ames uh, gets possession, but gives it back over to Foxborough. Uh, great win back there by Maddie Marini, who gives it over to Morgan Ames. And Morgan will pull it out. Foxborough will again possess the ball. So some great lacrosse here early by the Foxborough Warriors. And Jenny holding on to it at X. Pulls it out. Foxborough trying to get some off-ball movement again going, but there's a stoppage of play. Uh, looks like there was something illegal off-ball as no one was pressuring Jenny. Uh, she... Sends it up to, looks like the 18. Um, Katie Notarangelo will field it there. Katie brings it back around. Gives it over to Jenny. Jenny brings it up. Hesitation move. There she goes. It puts it in. That's 100 for Jenny Rogan. And all her team congratulates her. Nice job, Jenny. Definitely a big moment in the career of a great warrior at Foxborough High School. And they'll do a stoppage in play here to commemorate Jenny for her 100th goal. So here's the replay of it, one that will live forever in Jenny's mind. She brings it up, great hesitation move, brings it across the middle and gets a bounce shot right stick side uh, by the goalie. So Jenny will get some flowers and she'll definitely get to keep the ball. Very excited as she should be, so just a great time to remember uh, for Jenny Rogan. Coach Britt wants to take a picture with her. That's nice. But with any good moment, it passes, unfortunately, and the Foxborough Warriors are going to have to try to keep up the pace here in uh, a pretty dominating performance to this point. So once again, congratulations to Jenny Rogan on her 100th goal. And play will resume here with Katie Notarangelo and Sedato taking the draw. Katie wins it backwards, but there seemed to be some sort of a legal check. And... Sedato will take possession for Oliver Ames. Foxborough with some great pressure here. Sedato gets double teamed, triple teamed early. Fi tries to find number 11, 
Abby Duval, but she couldn't hang on. But again, there was a stoppage of play. We'll see who takes possession here. Looks like it's going to be Foxborough. And it is. Brooke Buckner carries it up and gets it to Katie Nodarangelo. Who finds Maddie Marini, who will weave it down into the Oliver Ames zone. And now back to announcers Jim Nodarangelo and Don Warner, who had the live call of the game. This year. Yep. But that's, it's going to help them out come uh, tourney time. Absolutely. I think I'm um, also facing some of these other teams like Walpole, Medfield. Certainly different, di will. Yeah. different division where we haven't faced them in uh, my memory, that's for sure, the last couple of years. Oh, Coach oh, Britt has. There uh, you go. Jenny's going there again. Going right there you back go. At it. 101. Very similar move. Okay, we have a nice job there. Yeah, so uh, Coach Coach Britt certainly this year tried to beef up the schedule a little bit, uh, bring in some tougher opponents. Because one of the things that they s struggled with a little bit last year was the Hockamock didn't offer, um, you know, enough competitiveness. And once they got into the tourney, you could see, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they, they step up their play and you run into a lot more of that double teaming in the midfield that they hadn't really seen too much during the regular season. So this year they'll see a lot more of it. And again, they should be better off for it. Even if they uh, lose another game or two in the process, uh, they'll be much better prepared for the tournament. Absolutely, you know, you get better by playing those harder teams. You don't mind losing to those harder teams when you when you play harder. Unfortunately, Maddie, sometimes, strong move nice goal. job, Maddie. Just sometimes you do see the girls when we do play some teams that aren't as um, strong in the division that you know you pick up some bad behaviors, bad habits. Yeah, so Maddie Marini, you'll see uh, number seven take a real strong move to the goal. It's there, she takes it. Little hop, skip, and a jump there too. She does, she goes high. 6-1 to one here with 12.43 uh, left in the first half. This might be a higher game. Might be a, uh, you know, we might start seeing some different plays in there. Well, this will... Uh, Good time to work on some... This will be an excellent time to work mm -hmm. on, on settled offense, work on uh, some of the set plays that maybe didn't go so well during the Franklin game. Gives them a chance to work on it and get ready for the uh, the big stretch run here coming up. The next week is really gonna yeah is where uh, they're really gonna find out what kind of team they have. That's true because the beginning of our season, you know, playing um, within the Davenport of the Hawk, it was a little bit, um, you know, they had fairly easy wins there. Um, again, with the first challenge coming with Franklin. Yeah, when you look at the score totals from the first few games, it was 25, mm. 25 to 3, 23 to 10, 13 to 3, 15 to 5. So uh, weren't tested much early on. Uh, but now they're getting into the tough part of the schedule. These next four games are really going to determine, you know, See how the, uh, the, really the Hockamock uh, division title as well as uh, seeding for the tourney. They set up next Monday uh, at Walpole. Walpole's five and one currently. Then they're home against Medfield on Wednesday. Midfield is five and one. And then they're home against Ashland, who was the team that uh, mm. beat them in the first round of the tourney last year. Yep. And then following that, doesn't get any easier. They're home against Canton the following Monday. So they get four tough games in a row. Canton, that game will go a long way towards uh, deciding the uh, the Hockamock Davenport division. Yeah, Canton's right on the cusp of just like trying to creep in, and that's someone that we really do need to keep at bay there. They're probably our closest uh, competitor in the Davenport. Yep, they lost their uh, their top scorer, Meg Lennon, last year mm -hmm. to graduation. Uh, but they've got a strong team of uh, juniors, uh, seniors this year, including uh, Kelly Stegas, who's a very strong field hockey player as well. Kenton usually shows up tough with, uh, you know, their soccer. I mean, everything. They're usually a very good team. So. Four, let's go, set it up. 
Katie sets it up behind the goal. Oh, we got Jamie Letts was wide open right looking in front there. Looking for isolation, yep. looking for the cutters, yep. rolling off. He's doing one Who's at a time. Who's gonna lose the defender? So nice trying confusion. To, trying to set picks. Jamie's trying to get open in there. If it doesn't work, clear out to yep. the other side. Okay. This is where you might get a three second call. There's two playing uh, Katie right now. There it oh, is. Yep. That's there what they go. were trying to do. That's what they were trying to feed Jamie, um, Jamie Lutz in there. That was a great goal by number six. Nice feed Senior. from Katie to Jamie. Um, and that's what you're trying to do. Create some confusion in their set picks. And um, hopefully you lose your defender. You can see Katie with the ball behind the goal, off to the side. Nice, nice, nice cut by Jamie Lutz. Right over and, the left shoulder. Uh, and buries it. Again, Swift. trying to trying to lose your defender. Uh, they did some nice jobs with uh, with picks there. That's yeah, a that's a Long that's a new play. Them. They're trying to work on a lot more. Uh, you can see already in this game. Oh, showing a little speed wow. there. That was a nice fast goal for them. We we're kind of behind him most of the time there. Yeah, that's where you'd like now to uh, right like like to slow him down in the midfield. Mm -hmm. Just just slow him down just ready? enough so that they uh, you know your defense gets set can be in better position. Now you had Carrie and Kirsten behind them at that point with um, Carrie taking the draw. Now you have Mary Beth. Kirsten, Mary Katie Beth on taking the, the, taking the, uh, the draw. Again, uh, Kirsten on the circle a lot more today. Along with Katie. All right, nice. Oh, that's you in your head. Katie there picks you go. up the ground ball. Okay, nice job. They're pulling back. We'll recover. Nice job. Fell into the corner there where we have a little bit of a visit. We're behind the um, OA bench a little bit, so it's a little difficult to see that corner. Katie, nice switch, pulling him out. And there's Morgan Ames. Nice oh, job, yeah. number 14, Junior. Saw the opening, just went yep. right to it. Nice cut. She has the speed that she can pull that off. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see her drive like that a little bit more often. Yeah, sometimes you see her go in, she pulls out. There we go, replay. You can see she's actually got two defenders, but uh, really drives right past them. There you go. Looks like just to the left of that, uh, of the goalie stick there. Waits to get right in front of that goal for the best angle shot. Nice job. Fired it home, nice job. She's a very patient player. All right, MB again. It's really nice because you see an MB's height right there. She gets that stick way up high. So look at how high. Nice there you job. Go. All right. All right, they won that, that double, one. Stay in that double. Nice job. All right, they're getting right out and they're going back. Okay. Go to ball. Just wait to slow defenders. them down. There, there you go. You go. Nice Kirsten. job, yep. Kirsten. Get two of them on the net. Katie on it. Nice check. Get it. Scoops nice up that ball. Job. Here's where you get your transition. Look at the wheels you get the go. numbers here. Three on two. Now they're going to set this. Carry. Nope, not carry. Excuse me. That's uh, Nora O'Keefe, looks like number 15, Nora O'Keefe. She's a freshman. Stepping in there, she's been seeing a lot of play time as well. And this is a great game to get everybody in here. Siobhan Nolan White going for a rut cut there. Jamie over to Nora. that Chloe Hurley's in there as well. <laughs> this is nice whoop. Nice control, Siobhan holding on to the ball there. She had two sticks on her. Showed some speed and power getting mm -hmm. through that crease. Yep. Usually you see the sticks bobble a little bit and that ball comes right out. Nice hustle by Siobhan Nolan to pick up that ball there. Oh, they're calling it out. Oh, 
looked like looked like she had it there. Looks like they're playing the inner blue today. The inner blue. All right, stop her. All right, all right, all right. Nice job, nice deep. No, nope, she's getting right through. Good job. Nice defense there, slowing them down. And again, with the new rules where you can't grab the stick and hold it on an angle, you need to hold it up and down. You can't use like a crossbar. And the girls were, uh, that took a couple games to get some correction on as well. A couple new Don't rules this year. Yeah, that's a new rule this year. No horizontal yep. stick. Yeah. And uh, it's taken the officials a little while to get used to that as well. Well, it's funny because some games they're calling it really quickly, others not so much. And then you know, halfway through, it's like, what did I do? It's difficult mm -hmm. for the girls that have been uh, coached to play that way for years. And yeah, now they've got to make a, a major change. Mm -hmm. So it's all in the uh, the, uh, the name of safety. Yeah. Trying to keep the, the stick contact contact to uh, to a minimum. Trying to do anything to avoid putting headgear and pads on the girls. Yep. Which at some point, you know, maybe they do put some pads on. But I don't know. Well, you know, it's hey, the uh, age-old uh, debate. If you put the pads on, or you put helmets on the girls. It's just gonna hit harder. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna, the, the uh, intensity is gonna pick up. And yeah. No, and you see that's why some of these rules, um, you know, like the three-second they have, um, and if you see them, like they're holding their stick. Um, Good defense here. They're holding it um, parallel instead of being, you know, horizontal sticks. Jamie Lutz, well, oh, had yeah, an opportunity pull it, to drive. Pulling out. Well, you know, we are up by six. Um, we do have some other players in there that you might be wanting to um, practice some plays. You see Allie, Allie Curran, Curran coming yep, in. another freshman coming on um, on the field right now. Number 23. That wind, when it picks up, it does get um, awfully chilly over here. I've right, got Siobhan Nolan taking a shot. Let's see what we can do here. She's at the center hash, so she, uh, she should have a good oh. opportunity at it. There yep, you go. There you go. Nice job. Nice job. Nice little birthday goal for her. So what's that, 9 to 2? And what is it, 616 left in this half? Well, we got a nice little taste of spring over the weekend. And mm. here we are back to the, uh, the cooler temps. Yeah. It's enough to tease us. <laughs> it's a cool attempt. I don't know if it's cool or just <laughs> downright cold. Um, there was snow on the ground the other day. Was it yesterday morning? It was. It was in track, yeah. It was. Um, so was it April 15th? We have snow on the ground. It's kind of crazy. Like that April first storm years ago. All right. Well, they won another draw there. Um, always kind of waking up there. See if we stop them. Nice defense there by um, Jamie Lutz. Looks like always having a little bit of a, the dropsies there. We're and um, Foxborough recovers. Right attack! All the way! All the way! That was Lauren Flayhive with the ball, um, number 29, another freshman on the field. Away goes into a press yeah. here. Double well, team, this is when you need to get to the off. Uh, that's going to be a point. cover. We've got Siobhan uh, all the way to the side here. You have Siobhan, you have Nora right there swing, as well. Swing it to the other side. There you go. Yep. Good luck. Oh. oh. Oh, nice check. Oh, okay. No, maybe too oh, close. Don't hang that stick. It's tough. She uh, she hung it low yep. out in front. Didn't look like mm. she was in the sphere. I didn't uh, think so, but settle it, settle. different angle. <laughs> okay. So 
looks like that is Lauren Flayhaivana right now. Yep, number 29. them out there. Got Kia Sonana right now. And then, um, five, there you are, Hallie Canfield. Another freshman out there, Hallie Canfield. Playing some defense out there. Doing a nice job keeping them out. Nice job. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carrie. Nice fight. Yeah. Yeah. Classroom, be ready. Carrie is another one of those aggressive players that um, she's going to put everything into that, everything in to get that ball. Patience. Well, and unfortunately, uh, too many times the goal scorers get the uh, get the the press reality, it's the defenders that really make the difference in this game. So when you look at uh, Carrie yep. and you look at Kirsten and you look at Jamie and Annie, you know, those are, Brooke, those are the players that are down in the trenches. And, yeah. Know, I always had a saying that, you know, anyone can score. Show me who, how you play defense and, you know, that'll show me the real players. And, you know, it's maybe an overstatement, but um, I use it with the younger players all the time to, to show them, you know, you, you need to be playing a two-way game. No, absolutely. And that defense there, um, you know, we had a, we do have a really good um, defensive on, group man. out there. I know she's changing things up a little bit. Oh, wait, balance, balance. Um, but exactly, with all the scores and everything, it's all about the points, so. I think the team's realizing like they are really coming together as a group and they um, they get along really well. Um, and I think they do um, they do talk to each other when you know they're doing well, they're not doing well. They are pulling each other up and um, and leading each other on, on both sides, offense and defense. Oh, here's a cut. No. Doing a real good job keeping them out here. Yeah. So two minutes ten seconds left here in the first half. Away, searching for a way to, uh, to cut into mm -hmm. this lead. Again, good tight defense, Kirsten. And carry. That's a great, uh, great job there. Standing their ground, drew the charge, and uh, Carey will take the ball back to Foxborough. Turn off. Minute and a half here left to go okay. in the first half. Nice Allie job. Curran bringing it through the midfield. Just causing a lot of confusion up there. There's your cutter yeah, right there, Yeah, there we Siobhan. go. Nice job Nicely right done. in front. Nicely done. Uh, nope, they're saying that she was in the crease there. Staying a little too close. Um, all right, so now they get the ball. It's okay. You want to slow them down here. There's only 46 seconds left, so... Don't be afraid to take that uh, take that whistle. Just slow him down. Ball down. Allie Curran comes up with it. All right, nice job, Allie. Thirty nice seconds. Wheels. So they're content to just slow it down here. 
It's 15 seconds. Uh, see if they go for that, that shot. Okay, they're being a little slow out there. They're just being they're relaxed. They're just going to run it out. Yep. Run it out, and there we go. End of the first half. It's 9-2. to two. Foxborough leads over OA. Back here, the second half of Foxborough Warriors against the Oliver Ames Tigers. It's a 9-2 ball game. Entering the second half. All right, I think we have, is that Jenny out there? I'm trying to see the face from here. Is it Kirsten? Yeah, that was Jenny Rogan was taking Jenny a draw. draw. Yep. Kirsten, nice pickup. Yeah, I really like seeing her on the circle there. She's um, doing a good job out there. Right, nice grab, Jenny. Let's see. Boom. Wow, that was quick. That was Mary Beth. That was a nice feed. Sure was. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't bring that stick down at all. No. Kept it high, went high, top, top shelf. She does. She just has a really good reach. Uh, hey, like stretch. Well, it's nice if you keep that stick high, too. Uh, mm -hmm. It really, really makes it difficult on that goalie. Because if you do shoot low from there, yeah, she she almost doesn't have any chance. Nice job, Mary Beth Sweeney, a junior. She's going to be coming up there with the goals as well. Oh, here, pick it up. All right, let's see. Nice job, Carrie. Um, but yeah, Mary Beth Sweeney, um, another high goal scorer for the Foxborough Warriors. I think we'll be looking and seeing her um, reach that milestone mark. Probably her junior year, if not by definitely her senior year. See again, there was that Morgan where she um, brought it in and then pulled back. We saw the defense was starting to collapse. Coach, um, giving some instruction to his team down there now. Okay, we have Brooke out there now. I didn't see Brooke out there the first half, so I don't know if um, maybe we had some. No, Brooke, testing. Brooke was, was in there the first Brooke half. Out there? Yep. I didn't see her. Well, I wasn't down there that often, so that might be why. I don't know. Girls have the new uniforms this year. Um, they've had the the other uniforms uh, whoops, for I don't know seven, eight, nine years previous to this. So this is the first they've had a um, nice set of uniforms here. Yeah, looking sharp yep, out there. They do look really nice, and you can see with um, a lot of them do have the long sleeves on today, which is nice seeing that. Yeah, triple frigid. team, stay in it if you're nice going to do job, that. Nice job. Once you commit to that triple, you've got to stay in it and you've got to get that ball. Okay, we're doing a little double here, nice. Oh. Nice job keeping Let's them check out. With Katie. Oh. There you go, Brooke. Katie behind her on the wing to support. Yep, you never know when you need to go back. Nice job, nice pass by Maddie Marini to Mary Beth. Set it up, lets everyone get down there, slow it down. They've been doing a really good job with transition. Just the middle, you don't really see, like where you see some other teams where they run the ball all the way down. We really don't see that too often.
Again, you can see they're working on this play quite a bit, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they're coming all bunching. Coming out of the scramble. Yep, confusing Stay them. on the goal side! All right, what do we have for a call here now? My guess is it's going to be a three-second. may have to be. No. Go to Going ball! To Go to ball! Could have been a play. blind pick. Okay. You know, in, in women's lacrosse, you need to... Each each pick needs to be uh, visible, so you can't you can't pick from behind someone. And that may a have been what we saw behind. there. A pick from behind. Well, we got Morgan coming off the field really quick. All right, and then I think we have so we have Chloe going in. I'm not sure if it was a stick. Might have been a mouth guard issue. Oh yeah, she's digging for a mouth guard. Cut the ball. Okay. And again, safety is just becoming, um, that's Rita. where you're seeing all these new rules. Rita, help with um, the backswing. With the way that they can check, the way that they hold the stick. They've been very aggressive with the, um, you know, with the mouth guards. If you have it out of your mouth, dag dangling in your mouth, they will take, um, they will give the, change the ball possession. Yeah, they usually give you one warning and then second mm -hmm. time they'll take possession. Oh, Jenny. Somebody's getting a card. Yeah. I didn't quite see that, so. Check oh, to the check head. check to the head. Number 21 from Oliver Ames. So she's going to come off, I believe, for two minutes? Two minutes, yeah. And it's a strong, it's a, it's a you're off. You don't come back on. It's a. Yeah, yeah so you see Jenny uh, cut across the middle here. And you see number 21 stick high. And oh, right there. yeah. Make, make contact, yeah. you know, thank God for the goggles. Oh. But uh, you, anytime you make contact with the player's head, it's an automatic. Get your stick in there. So again, that's a two minute, she's out. <coughs> okay, so the shot she didn't feel was there. She's gonna pull it out. They're gonna play, a, set up a few plays. Oops. Like Kick push ball there. No. Looks like she got a little shove from behind there. Okay, so we have Jamie Lutz on the arc there. This will be an indirect. Mm -hmm. Pull it up, set up, look at she just opened it up. When she pulls it out, it will open up a little bit of um, where you have to be within a stick length. But before you can reach your hand nice out. Use of the crease oh, there. Nice, nice yep. job. Katie Notarangelo, that's the second for her today? Uh, number two, yep. yep. That's um, smart when you get that ball behind and you have somebody right on your heels. Just use that crease and it forces that player behind because they can't go through the crease. Smart play. Mm -hmm. I was saying the stick um, with being within a, an, um, a stick's reach, where before you would be able to hold your arm out, now it's just a straight stick's length. So it is just a straight, it. straight stick, correct? <laughs> and again, you see some variability between officiating crews on what they call and their interpretation. <laughs> How long and that's is what that makes stick? it tough. <laughs> that's what makes it tough on yeah. the players because they're not sure exactly what they can and can't do. You know, the consistency needs to be there. Nice, that was Mary Beth with a draw, and she got the ball. Foxbow still on a man up here. Okay. So this is where you really want to try to work uh, those two-on-ones. We have Molly Gunn stepping in. She's a sophomore, number 16. And uh, we have Brooke Buckner that just came off. There we go. That was a nice grab. Oh, I got a save by the goalie there. So Oliver Ames is 
about ready to get back to uh, mm -hmm. full strength here. We did capitalize with that uh, man down situation. Now they're all full strength. It's typically will they have the nice job. No goalie, the goalie is out. Wow. Take it right in and fire. Let's go, Chloe. There nice, go. nice job. That was by Chloe Hurley. Nice job. That play did not work out well for OA. And that was all uh, Maddie Marini there with a nice check. She saw the the goalie drop mm -hmm. the uh, drop the stick. Once she does, it's fair game. That's a heads up play. So you'll see the uh, the goalie coming way out. Oh, in this case, this is right after after the oh, uh, after the check. Him, yeah. Yep. So you see, uh, Chloe. I believe that may be her first goal of the year. It if so, might congratulations. Just be, yeah. Nice work. I like to see that. There's a nice little scuffle in the middle there. A little excitement having the goalie out of the net. There you go. Yeah, coaches uh, get a little agita when the goalie comes out <laughs> that far. Yeah, Absolutely. Got to get rid of that ball quick. Don't drop your stick. So it's 12 to 2 here, and there is approximately, what, mm -hmm. 17, 17 and a half minutes ago. Hard to see past that whole group of girls over there. It is nice having the game up here on the high school property. Get a few more kids that stop in, see the game. A few more people. A Absolutely. More attention. Great spot for mm -hmm. the field. It'll be even Perfect. nicer on a warm day. I agree with you 100%. Yep. <laughs> this is nice, nice. Uh, some of the girls relaxing a little bit. Nice to be ahead. So uh, you know it's it's nice to get a little break here after mm -hmm. the uh, oh, nice shot of Colleen. <laughs> That's there. what they're all laughing uh, about. They're totally just zooming on Coach uh, Coach Colleen there. And she couldn't get away. No. Nope. Nice work. She's uh, she's good. Colleen has a um, big set of lungs on her. You see her. You hear her <laughs> on the sidelines. Her and uh, Brittany make a nice team. So now, looks like we're going to have Nelly, Nelly Beth Nelly. on the draw again. Kirsten on the circle, carried back at the defensive line. Where well, they changed that up as well, where before they used to just hold three back, there's four back now. Yep, new rule this year. They had mm -hmm. five on the circle up until this year. Hello. They, they did that in the NCAA level. Uh, Last year, pulling the four, and then they just three on the circle, okay. and uh, and then they just moved it down to all levels now. Even youth this year oh, went to uh, three thing? in the circle. Yep. With the Which five, with the five, it just get too congested, and again, mm -hmm. it's all all in the name of safety. You, know, you, you get everybody five plays from each team running after that ball, and it's just a mad scramble. But what it does is it really, really um, highlights the uh, uh, skill. The, the uh, the draw. And, oh, there, there we go. go. Was that Molly Gum? Was that number 15? Looks like it is, yep. That's, I'm um, sorry, that's Nora O'Keefe, number 15. There we go, OA. Nice job, and that might be, no, she's, uh, she's scored a couple of times. Annie, take it. There she goes, Nora's just, she's just bringing it right in. There we go, just a couple people on her, and she just let it rip. Mary Beth, and again, watch how tall she, how high she gets that stick up there. Nice reach. Nope. Okay. Couldn't secure it. Nope. All right, double. Ball's down. Nice grab. Ooh. Yep. Is that going to go good? Right, Lauren play high with the ball. Use the sideline, Go sometimes That's best the way to, go to go back. back. That's the way. Yep. You don't see anyone open, you start crashing on you. Back again. Swing at the other side. There we go. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, they're drawing him back up. Mm -hmm. Nobody yet, but someone will get there. Oh, that's a little trip. Number 22 and Oliver Ames. So this is a good opportunity with the... Oh. You can see Oliver Ames getting a little oh, more yeah. uh, aggressive, but that was uh, that was just a trip. I think a little incidental contact there. Yeah, I think she meant it. <laughs> Watch out, oh, this nice tall grab by um, Ali Curran. Good opportunity to build some Sarah experience here with the yeah. under, underclassmen. I think we have Sarah Harrington in there too right now, number 13. She's a sophomore. Boy, Siobhan's got that nice, uh, nice, quick, uh, you know, powerful two or three initial strides. Yeah. She's very strong, very strong player. Okay, it's very nice to see everyone get a little, get some touches today. Sarah Harrington, back to MB, and I bet you'll go back into that little uh, that cluster. Okay, they're calling out a play. Let's see, here it goes, yep. So here's that play again. There, there she oh, is. She's wide oh. open. Yeah. Wide oh. open. Yeah. But they are they are doubling up on Mary Beth right now back there. I guess that's one way to shut that down. Almost. Um, that's Siobhan Nolan was looking for the cut there. That's it, okay, it now it looks like she's not going to pass. It looks like she's just going to stand in front down. of her. There you go. That's a there nice check go. by Siobhan Nolan there. Nice Letting check. That stick low. It's just a matter of time. And, yep, and that's um, Hallie Canfield with the pickup. And why is that black spot right now? Was she out of bound? Girls having a little fun on the sidelines there. Again. Okay, let's see what we do on defense here. Ooh. That was a nice job. Nice, nice job by Melissa. Nice job cutting through. And yep. uh, nice stop by Melissa there. Cleanest right now. Nice stop. Whoops. Yeah. All right. That was a. Yeah, like you said about the uh, the crease there. If you stay close to the crease, you can't get past you. So it's thirteen to three here with uh, a little over 11 minutes to go. See the all-way pl player come right across that crease. Nice little inside yep. move. And uh, again, keeping that stick high really makes it tough on that goalie. She was able to put it right over. Just kind of placed it right over her head. Go. 
there you go. Nice job, nice pick up by Maribeth Sweeney. Allie Curran. Again, wait a little bit, Sells set it, it up. And it's really good, these girls have really shown um, a lot of patience. Um, you don't see them just run right in. They, they do, they're patient, they make sure that they have the nice shot selective so that they don't turn the ball over too quickly before we're able to give defense a break and get everybody lined up where, where we need to be. And that, that's really key. You know, you ought to be working hard on defense. In the offensive zone, you settle it down to give yourself a chance to, to rest up, right? Get those yep. middies who are running up and down that field like crazy. Give them a chance to rest up a little bit. Okay, just settle that in. Somebody go two! Who's going two? All right, but Siobhan chasing her down. Good pursuit. Yep, we got Kirsten right there since Kirsten had a right up. Her. Nice job, Siobhan. Now we got a little double to give her a little break. Oh. Yeah, see, they're having a problem. Oliver Ames is just having a little bit of difficulty catching that ball um, down there. They've had a bunch of dropped passes. Oh. Or errant throws. Call it what you'd like. Or both. Yeah, maybe. So again, the, uh, the real meat of the schedule coming up uh, starting next week. And this is really going to be uh, be interesting. Mm. If you look at uh, all the Hawk games, as important nice as they job. are. That was a nice pickup by um, number 18, Chloe Hurley. Chloe. Yeah, and it's good. Got Allie behind the goal. There you go. And it's really good getting Step every back, nice. Step back, nice switch. Yep, oh, they shut it okay. down. Are they going to call shooting? They call it shooting space. I think they are, yep. yep. Um, it's really nice seeing everybody in here, everyone getting a touch on the ball here, um, getting some hustles because, you know, again, we are getting into, um, oh, that's, yeah. Can't do that either. Let's try this again. And giving all the girls another um, a shot to get in this game. Get them all geared up for next week, too. Absolutely. Nice job. Nice job putting the ball on the ground. Allie Curran. So there's a major realignment this year, too, with, uh, oh, here we go. Allie's got the free position shot on the eight, center position. Nice job yep. firing it right down. Really quick. A few steps done. Repositioning. Yeah, so major reshuffling on the uh, MIAA uh, tourney format in the uh, the alignment. Well, how so? So they have uh, the divisions. Now they went to an east, uh, east and a south and a north. Three as opposed to just having uh, two in the past. Hmm. And so really all the Hawk teams, for the most part, everybody's D1, uh, with the exception of just a couple of teams, including Foxborough. Uh, really makes the alignment much, much different. Hmm. You look at Franklin and KP and OA and Sharon, Mansfield, K Canton. They're all D1. Sharon? Yeah. Wow. And Canton. Wow. Uh, Foxborough and, and Milford are, are D2. North and Attleboro are both D2 this year, but eventually we'll be moving to D1. It's all based Again, on Again, based enrollment. on size. School, all yeah. size of the school enrollment. So when you look at the, the, the Hawk and the way things align, you want to win the Hawk, but at the same time, you're not going to be seeing a lot of those teams come tourney time. That's why next week's so important. Walpole right. moved down from D1 to D2. So Walpole's in a D2 league with so us. They're in East, East 2 so with us. highly possible. Medfield is East 2 with us. Mm -hmm. And Ashland is East 2 with us. So the next three opponents for Foxborough you're going to get a real good taste for uh, what the tourney's going to be like. Well, smart move by uh, Coach James, um, Coach Sherry, excuse me, um, putting them in our regular season so we can at least get a little bit of a, get a glimpse of their play. Yep, help out a lot. Yep. All right, again, doing that little uh, scuffle there. Yeah, they're working on this mm -hmm. play quite a bit. And that's good. So they draw a double team. That means somebody yep. is going to be able to get open. 
and it's just a matter of losing now, your girl. So now they've they've gone back. Oh, there you go. Just got to roll it. Do you like to see them do a set mm -hmm. of pick on their way back? Ooh, okay. Nora. Is that a dangerous too close to the goalie, perhaps? Yep. Either that or just a <sighs> crease violation. Yeah, Hard to tell maybe. from this angle. It's true. Okay. See how our defense does here. Again, this one here likes to uh, just run it right down. They're really not passing that ball. And again, very different style of play from what they used to do, um, you know, years ago. Right, we got the Olive Rames girls standing in our way here. Go. Let's see what we're going to do with the ball now. And again, it's just a great opportunity to run some plays. And um, that play, I don't know what it's particularly called, but I do believe we saw it a couple times with Ashlyn last year. I think we should yeah. uh, we should name it. Or name it yeah. Twizzler or something or Doritos. I like the Amoeba. Amoeba, okay. Amoeba. Tell Just kind of that free form mass. Oh, that was a nice shot. Allie Kern. Uh, they're not calling that. What's up now? Did she get hit? Yellow. Yep, another yellow card. She looks like she got hit there. Goal should count, though, but it doesn't. I don't like that rule. Actually, I think they will call it, count it. Okay. Good. Okay. So uh, their new go. rule this year is that they will on that call they will let the goal stand Continuance. if it happens after. So let's see when the when the foul actually happens. Now watch that move. Nice. Oh yeah, whacked right there. Yep. So they gave a continuation on it. Yep. And as you'll see, you'll see the refs with um, the yellow flag. They'll throw it in the air. They'll just well, well they'll hold it high in the air in their hand, and therefore you know like if you're about to get called and they'll let the continuance of the play. Where before they've just stopped the play even if you got a goal. So yep, nice it's to called see. A, called a slow whistle. They'll hold that flag up in the air. And uh, I'd like to see it more often to be honest with you. Because mm -hmm. so many times you see them penalize the right. offensive team on a defensive foul. Take the goal right. away. Well, nice little burst of speed <laughs> by Jamie Lutz there. I think there's four of them on the, four of them right there. Someone needs to be off of a man. <laughs> You're clearly going to have a shooting space violation there. <laughs> so Jamie on the center hash. She Finds just Allie it off right out. Side. Well, you're up 12 here with uh, mm -hmm. three minutes, less than three minutes to go, so. Move the ball around, take some time off the clock. Foxborough's still up, uh, up a man here. Mm -hmm. Nice job, <laughs> See the OA defender just jump in front yep. of her. Little sphere. There we go. And that was um, Sarah Harrington, number 13. That's definitely her, uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's her first. Is that her first goal? I would believe All it right. is. She's um, She plays on JV and on varsity, so this is a um, nice job. Nice job. Saw the opening and took it. Yep. Nice job. 
Well, it's definitely nice. the and first one that we got on film. And that's the way where you want to shoot, too. Yep. Uh, Great work. Opposite stick side. Okay, now. So here we go. Sweeney out there. You see a lot of the seniors standing on the sidelines all huddled up in their mm -hmm. blankets and warm ups. Yep. All right, we're going to have a do over here. That's what they called it a do over. A do over. Yep. Let's do this again here. All right. Nice job. Get up. Mary Beth coming away with it. with it. On, comes up with it on the second try. Nice job. Okay. And again, oh, we got a little. 30 seconds Aaron left pass. here. Well, that's good because they'll my be content feet, just to wind it down. My toes are quite numb here, very numb. So 16 to three. Nice win for Foxborough, and it's a it is a division win, which is good. Absolutely, this will move them to yep. six and one, and uh, set them up for a real uh, challenging week next week. It'll be a fun one. It'll be a good one. So good, good, solid win, all the way around. Great job. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank uh, Fox Road Cable Access and Cable 8 Sports and the entire crew. Uh, it's it's uh, a wonderful thing they do here for the uh, the teams at Foxborough High School, uh, and it's very much appreciated. Again, the final score, 16-3, Foxborough Warriors over Aldrams Tigers.